see if we can squeeze the Dodge out of here. Boss Man and I lined up all the vehicles we have, and we're storing them in here. I got too many, so I think today I'm going to sell one of them, that's for sure. Recently, I've been seeing some comments from you guys worried that we're going to end the series once we hit a million dollars. And honestly, it is up to you guys. If this video hits 5,000 likes, we will continue the series once we hit a million dollars. But if it does not hit 5,000 likes, we're going to end it. We're going to close shop. We're going to go back to driving the limo. But with that being said, we have a big day today. Let's pull this in. Steve's shop has the paint booth open. It was closed yesterday, so I had to drive the truck back. I was kind of disappointed. So he said, pull it in. They will get it done. I'm going to keep it a secret. I already picked out the paint color, but I'll have to show you once it's done. But we got to pay the lady. Samantha, good morning. I got you a check. Five grand for the paint job, and they're going to do some extra work on interior, a few aftermarket parts as well. So let's go grab that Can Am. Just fires up real good. Boss man made the repair. The steering is back in alignment. I'm pretty sure these are meant to go on pavement, but we're only going a mile down the road. Yeah, I'll probably stay off on the side. These tracks, I think they wear out quick if you drive on cement. But I think once we get done with our chores today, I'm going to look at a house. I might be buying a house. I've been living in an RV for a while. It's not even mine, but I think that's going to change today. Stay tuned. All right, boss man, I'm selling one of my vehicles today. You help me decide which, which one. Which one? What? Uh... Okay, well, so, it must not be the Jaguar. You yep. just got this thing. The Tadpole, I was looking these up. These these are kind of rare, and we kept it in pretty good condition. I think we but get some ben, pretty penny. this has been with you since day one. You think? You think yeah, I should you keep can't it? Get rid of, man, if you get rid of this thing, I quit. Okay, okay, I'll keep it. It's too sentimental. I agree. I was just testing all my options. So then the last one is 5,500, and now that I got a new pickup, do I really need this? Did you really need it to begin with? It really doesn't do much. It just holds tools. I think we're going to go sell it, boss man. Where, who should I sell it to? The used car dealership? Well, yeah, they've been pretty good in the past. You can see what they'll offer you. All right. Do I'm going to drive sale. it down. Let's see. Okay. Are you able to get it out of here? I don't know, man. I can't see over the hood. This thing's huge. All right. Let's head out of here. Looking good. It's nice to have all the vehicles underneath one roof, but this thing does not fit in there. All right, I got the interior clean. I power washed it the other day. I was kind of thinking about selling this thing, but today's the day. Let's see how much we're going to get for this. Super curious. Hopefully above 40 grand. It shouldn't have depreciated that much. Howdy, sir. I'm bringing in my truck. I want to see what you'd be willing to give me for it. Looking to just sell it outright. No trade-ins or anything. Yeah, feel free to take it on test drive. There's no issues that I know of. I mean, the bed alone. I mean, that thing's like 15, 20 grand alone, not even the truck. Yes, sir. Keys for all the boxes. They shut great. The back opens up. Tools are included. He seems really interested. He's going to take it on a test drive. All right. Looks like he did. Oh, we, one of the toolboxes came undone. I got to close that real quick so he doesn't see it. All right. It's shut. Perfect. I don't think he saw it. All right, man. Go inside. Do some paperwork and tell me what you can cut me a check for. I was thinking 60, 70 grand at least. All right. Let's see here. 45,000 for... No, and you could do 55 for a trade-in? No, 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 no. Okay, uh, nope, so I want to sell it outright. Come back with me. I was thinking 60, 70 grand. You got to do better than that. All right, let's see here. I'm hopefully a better offer. Otherwise, I'll be leaving. All right, 55. 55, sir, that'll work. I appreciate you coming up on that. Let's shake on it. All right, and that was the best you can do. 55, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for your business. All right, boss man's coming to give me a ride, and we're heading down to go check out my new home, possibly. All right, Spencer, where are we going? All right, Paul, remember when we did those big rescues for the fire truck at the mining site? Yeah, where the construction workers are? Yes, exactly. So drive there. It's a surprise. I haven't really told anybody, but the guy Wait, reached okay, out to hold me. hold up. If you live there, that is so far from where you work. That makes no sense. Why would you ever do that? That's like the worst idea I've ever heard. Okay, do you remember there being any houses there? No, you you don't have a house on a mining site, man. This is a mobile house. It'll be perfect. A mobile house? You what? Why? I want to be. I don't want to be tied down by having a permanent house. I want to be able to be on the move. Is this thing worth living in? Like, I know oh. there's some nice mobile homes out there, but boss you know, man, you, is this thing worth living, living in? in when I pull this into the RV park, I will be the king of the RV park. So you're saying like this is one of those like next level ones, kind of like the one I used to have? Uh, probably even better. I like this one better. better. I'll show you. I'll you show mean, you. Better. I'll show you. Uh, okay. All right, boss man, straight ahead. What? What's straight ahead? What's straight ahead is my new house. What the heck? This is uh, 
One of the most boring trailers I think I've ever seen in existence of trailers. You made me drive all the ways down here for this thing. This is not any normal camper. This is crazy, and once it unfolds, right now it looks pretty sleek, goes down the road real nice. But look, look at all the windows in here. This is not normal. Uh... Here, we'll talk to the guy. Howdy, sir. My name's okay. Spencer. Here to check it out. So I guess we click this panel and it unfolds? Yeah, so this is the control buttons. He, he said it's ready to go. He just said start clicking around, and we can kind of play around with it. All right, boss man. What, what do you think? Well, this thing has way more slide outs than I thought. Is this a double slide out over here? Yeah, it's Whoa. huge. That is, okay. Come around uh, the other side. We'll walk around the whole thing, and then we're going to do an inside tour. You even have a hitch on the back. under wonder what that's weighted, rated for. Wow, okay. Barbecue, everything. So yeah. It sets up nice. Super nice. It's got railings. Little kids won't run off, you know, the platform and stuff, so it's really safe. Oh, good. It's childproof. You'll be perfectly fine without any kind of person monitoring you. Nice. The the thing I love about it the most is huge windows, it looks like. So let's go run on the inside. Let's let's check this place out. I like the door. It's kind of like a 70s vibe or something, but it's pretty cool in here. And the guy keeps it fairly clean. So, okay. Uh, looks like there's lots of stuff we got to do to get this thing nice. And okay, there's some lights here. Let's just start pressing everything around, man. Let's get all this lighting going yeah he had it all closed up he had it ready to ship but i said uh, hey i want to pull it all open see how everything is and stuff so you open these blinds that is awesome beautiful view yeah you can open close sliding porch window wow there is so much natural light that can get let in yeah, just open the door and you can walk right out like you said yeah super nice furniture grills all that stuff so once this thing's set up man this is like a house this is more square feet than any of the rvs yeah, this is going to take a multiple spot. So we'll have to probably make a special spot for this if you end up buying it. Yeah, super nice bathroom. There's nothing to complain about there, in my opinion. That looks great. Oh, yeah. Full size shower. You even have, can you do laundry in here, man? Heck yeah. Look at that. See a little deer's walking there. You can look at your nice little window. Here's the master bedroom. I mean, this thing is huge. Oh, yeah. Look at all these windows. So master bedroom. This is the back of the trailer bathroom living room a nice tv i mean look it's like they have tile on the wall there's ac heaters in here you even got a fish tank i'll keep that dining room what rv has like a dining room table that you can walk around what rv has a piano in it a grand piano exactly now does this come with all the furniture yes it is all included but the catch is the semi you have to buy the semi with it Ooh. Well, okay, let's check out the semi then. That's, uh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, yeah, kitchen super nice too, granite countertops, but boss man, I was kind of thinking too, we buy this semi. It is a cab over, but it looks awesome. If we sell our old one, we could use this. Like, what's your budget here? Let's say here, let's walk away from the guy yeah, before yeah. talking about that, but he's asking, what do you think your budget is? He's asking 250 grand, and that's Ooh, way too much, okay. and I, I'm going to try to That's and see like a quarter million dollars, yeah. Yeah. It's a lot, but I need a house. It's been long enough. We're getting close to a million dollars. Like I, I have enough money to buy a house and this will be perfect. We own an RV park, so I could represent the RV park, always be working there. Anyway, it's great for me, but the semi is pretty, he's valuing that at like 80 to a hundred thousand dollars. So I don't know if I really need that nice semi. Anyway, I'm going to work with him. See if I can talk him down. What, like what number are you thinking? Anything under 180 I'm happy with. Would you go any higher than like that's a big drop from the number he's asking for? I don't know. I'm I'm emotional about it. We're just gonna see what we can do. All right, man. Like the place. I'm gonna offer you. Are you ready? I don't wanna hurt your feelings. 170 grand. Uh, boss man. He almost punched me in the face. Yeah, I uh, yeah, don't. He's a construction worker. Don't mess with him. Uh, yeah. You you need to say a number that okay. isn't like that. That's kind of mean. All right, man, I'll counter, I'll counter 190. And here's the thing, man, I don't need the semi. So if you could take off the semi, I, I would pay, I, I would I would pay more for the trailer, if that makes sense, than having the semi with it. And remember, boss man and I, we came here, we rescued you guys. Come on, man, do me a favor. All right, you'll take 200. All right, I can shake on 200. You came down a lot, I came up a lot. That's a deal. Here's the cash, man. Thank you. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I bought it. There you it. go. 200, is that what I heard? That is right. Oh, 200,000, but man, I think you got a pretty good price for what this is. Like, look at this thing. Yeah, I can go on the road down it. We got a semi that runs really good. We can use that for other things. Obviously, it's going to not be pulling this most of the time, so it'll be great. 
All right, well, I guess let's spend the next hour to get this thing collapsed again. No, and... no, no, you just hit some buttons. We're good. It doesn't take that long. Do you know how to drive that thing, man? This is literally probably the biggest thing you've ever bought when it comes to being on wheels. You better not crash it. Yeah, man, I know how to drive it. This thing's not even that heavy, he said. I think he said it was like 30,000. So not maybe. that heavy. That sounds pretty heavy. I've hold an excavator and the excavator alone weighs 50, 60,000 plus the trailer. Yeah, well, that was a rental that you weren't living in. So That's be careful. True. That's all I'm saying. All right, I'll go slow. I'll go slow. You put on your hazards. You'll be in my lead car. Oh, yeah. People will definitely move out of the way for the tadpole. Left or right or straight? Right. Right. No, not oh. straight. Why, why would okay. it be straight? It's one of those roads, you know, where it's like, is it really right? Or you keep going straight. All right, big hill up ahead. Floor it. There we go. Slowing down. He said this also has air ride suspension, so it's pretty smooth. Oh, boss man's such a nice guy. He blocked the road for me. Hurry up, man. Don't have all day. Are people starting to get mad at you? Yes, sir. Oh. They're like, why is there a tadpole? Look at this me? guy. He's trying to cut me off. Oh, geez. Okay. I'm going to go yell at him. All right. Stop it. Wing wide. The cab overs, they say they got better turning radius. And they kind of do, because if you think about it, I don't got the engine in the front that could hit something. Are you making that turn? I'm making it just fine. I, I honestly swung too wide. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna open back up the road. The lot's cleared out recently. We've had a lot of people leave. Some people are starting to filter in now that we have open spots. For the longest time, it was closed. I was thinking I'll be on the end here, and then if I do extend into somebody else's lot, we can always move them to an empty one. Is it currently empty? It is not, but that guy's a good stand-up guy who's renting that spot right there, and I'm think you'd be fine if we moved it, especially if we closed it down and set it up for him so he didn't have to do any work. Okay, I'm going to go make sure he's not in there right now, and then we'll just move it over if not. All right, looks good. Just take it down. Honestly, just move to that one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm surprised this thing's pulling it so easily. Yeah, looks good. All right, let's back this baby up. I'm thinking right in the smack dab of the middle of the grass okay, strip. Wa watch the lights. Oh, oh Jeez, we're good. We got we're a little good. close. Okay. That's what good drivers can do, boss man. You're gonna be tearing up this grass. Look at that. Smack dab in the middle. All right, drop her down. Let's get her unfolded. All right, that looks pretty good. And honestly, boss man, I don't know if we're gonna take up both. We might. We should have measured it. Yeah, yeah, we should have measured it. I'm thinking, thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's too late to move it now, no, man. No, no, no. I want to move it. I want to get this right. So then we're done. We don't have to mess with anything. And if we don't take up two spots, boss man, that's more money for us in the long run. But this just took forever to... Uh, okay, we can move it. This looks so much better now. And yeah, no need to take up another spot. This looks great. Well, guys, let me know what you think. Do not forget to hit the like button. Like I said, if we don't hit a 5,000 likes, boss man, we're done. It's like, see you later, boss man, I'll never see you again kind of thing. I'll just pack my bags, go back, you know, buy a limo and start driving limo again. Well, that sounds scary. Well, boss man, you better hit the like button. That's for sure. Okay, well, send me the link when you post this. I'll, I'll smash that like button. Will do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>